Hey everyone, it's Brett of Booster Therapy. Welcome back to the channel and to a new month, October 2020. We have a new giveaway. This month, Booster Therapy is hooking you up with some wonderful swag. You get a beautiful knit beanie, a playmat with a beautiful stitch border, and a beautiful little bag of dice. That's right, Booster Therapy dice. And all you have to do is like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and at the end of the month, we're going to pick one lucky winner who has done all of those things. And again, every video is a chance to enter to win those wonderful prizes. So hopefully, we see you in the comments. We love to interact with everyone who's a part of the channel. And enjoy the video. It's patron chaos opening time. Woo! That's right. It's the patron opening time. It's a chaos opening. And we've got prescriptions to fill Packs to crack. You saw the first name. Eric G. And this is a spooktacular version. We've got tons of mystery packs, all themed around my favorite horror day, Halloween. So happy Halloween, everybody. 18 packs for Eric G. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got one of them. One of them. Seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You got a dark ascen ascension, Eric. Hopefully we get something extra fun from there, but let's just get going. Because this is going to be, as it always is, a very long video. So we've got Theros Beyond Death. And our first rare is the Phoenix of Ash. And of course the beautiful swamp. We'll make sure that goes... Any, any of the cool lands. Whenever there's like a full art land of some sort, you feel like we need to send those home with you all. Because they're just so cool. Idealic Tutor, there's a nice one. Get any of those enchantments and put them in your hand. And a foil Nyxborn Seaguard. And a mountain. We got Core 2021, so let's hope for some Ugins. Oh, we got the rare right up front with this one. Nine lives. That's not an Ugin. And I don't think there's really anything else special with that one. More Theros. Let's see if we can get a Kroxa. At least a couple mythics. Oh, we do get one. Heliod, Sun Crown, our first mythic. And it's a constellation art. All for our generous patron, Eric G. Corona Veladrain. A lot of these older, out-of-print standard sets starting to slowly creep up in price because of the power of the cards. Fervent Champion, great for your red deck wins. Want those cards. With the Ember Cleave. Especially since so much is banned in standard now, I think they've really paved the way for aggro to just be strong. Ooh, Edgewall Innkeeper, it's a good uncommon. And the Black Lance Paragon, not bad. Do I see more Core 2021? Dark Ascension. I can't even think what is good in Dark Ascension. What is that? I know it's around. It was with the Innistrad block. And Fires of Invention. It used to be good, but, you know, like most things in Standard, it's unfortunately banned right now from competitive play. But it is still good in things like Commander. Like, that card goes unnoticed. Basri's Lieutenant for our rare in the core 2021. It's the alternate art too, the showcase and a Honden. We'll keep the Honden. More, more, more core 2021. I just want to see an Ugin. Junk, Forest and Niambi, esteemed speaker. Did you know she's Teferi's daughter? You probably did, right? You guys are always so smart. I'm sure you knew that. Ikoria. Looking for mainly Triomes from this. I'm not sure if there's anything else that's super, super high value with the Triomes. Oh, never mind. I lied. Did we get another Mythic? It's the Fiend Artisan. This is probably the best Mythic, especially long-term from the set. And the Exuberant Wolf Bear foil. Gotta have a Wolf Bear. More Core 2021. We got a lot of Core 2021 in this one. Come on, Eric. Soul Seer foil. That looks really good. Foiling is incredible. And we have a Kevarek the Spiteful for our next rare. Come on, Ugin. We have not seen a Core 2020 Mythic. Nope, not yet. Good. It's a good sign. Oh, we get a foil pack leader. 
So foil rare, not bad. And a Stormwing Entity. That's actually really solid. A lot of people playing decks with that right now. Come on, Egan. Zombie. Planes. And Peer into the Abyss. Some horrifying artwork on that card. Ikoria again. Looks like we got Ikoria, a Throne of Eldraine, a couple more Core 2021s, and then... On to the Dark Ascension. Gigantha, the Wellspring. I actually really like this one in the Jota deck. You could conceivably build Jota with that as a companion, and it actually worked too, which I have to appreciate. Right, make sure I don't miss that one land. There's one land in there. It's worth a little bit. Doom foretold. Hopefully that's not ominous of what's to come on these Core 2021 packs. We got Teferi, we got Ugin, lots of good cards here. Mountain, and the Feline Sovereign to go alongside your pack leader. It's all cats and dogs here. All right, last pack for Eric G. And then, uh, well, I'm sorry, two packs, Dark Ascension. Ooh, Liliana, I'll give you the, that, uh, that lovely token. Titanic Growth Foil, and another Stormwing Entity. Not bad. If you're going to get a duplicate rare, that's not too bad of one. All right, Dark Ascension. Oh, boy. Old magic. Oh, I think we saw that our flip card is a rare. Didn't mean to do that. I'm going to go nice, nice and slow. Thought Scour. Look at some of these old school cards. Bone to Ash. Vengeful Vampire. All right, so we got Chill of Foreboding. And behind this is our first rare. The Havengal Rune Binder. Guy looks delightful. Fresh out of Halloween look is what he has. And our flip card, it's a mythic Elbrus the Binding Blade. This is so much fun. Oops. Because it turns into Withengar Unbound. If you can just get one piece of damage in, you flip that over and it goes crazy. Eric, not bad. You're, uh,. Especially with having that a uh, little bow, the chase pack there had two rares in it, one of them being a mythic. Eric will make sure that all gets to you safely. Next up, we got Jared. Hey, you got 18 packs, Jared. Oh, I got a big, I got a clawful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We got three more packs. Ah. 16, 17, 18. I don't, unless I missed it, I don't think I saw a chase pack there, but I see a lot of throne, which is super fun to open. You know, you can always get the great henge, Jared, the great henge, that's what it's all about. I'm trying to move as quick as my hands can go without damaging things, destructive tampering, that's what people accuse me of. And sublime epiphany, very good rare. And nothing else, okay. Night, Tranquil Cove, and ooh, we're gonna have a double rare pack. The first one is a full art massacre worm mythic, followed by a demonic embrace. Real good for Skullbriar. Nasty card. Nasty, nasty card for your Tron decks that have black in them for the colors. All right, we're on to Throne and a Castle Ardenvale. Not bad, and a foily trapped in the tower. More throne. More. Come on, Jared. Something good. Miracle hits here, that's what we're looking for. Murderous Rider, very good card. Nice with those adventure decks, that's definitely a thing. Golgari Adventures, I've seen it. Ooh, Sir Conrad's solid. And we get a Lovestruck Beast. We're getting all the good adventure cards here. Next, we just need to see a Bone Crusher Giant. Although nowadays, I don't know if people are playing much uh, Paper Magic, so for standard anyway. Another Lovestruck Beast. I'll take it. Good card. I think most of us at this point are we're trying to get our standard fixed run arena until, well, until COVID 
finds its happy place, I suppose. Ooh, Mystical Dispute is a nice solid uncommon. And the Midnight Clock. And a Foil Charming Prince. I do love that for any of your Blink decks. The things that just gain the extra value out of a card that has a few different modes worth of value. Not bad. Green Dancer Sea Dasher Octopus. Looks like you're getting another foil, too. Another foil rare, Extinction Event. You have double foil rare to on us. Not bad. More Ikoria. Let's see if we can snag one of those triomes. Maybe one of the full art triomes would be nice. Oh, bosh, the Prey Piercer. This is a fun one for Commander Jared. If you can get the right pieces like Sulfuric Vortex and other hateful cards like that that have an odd CMC, Obosh is scary powerful. Ooh, Terror of the Peaks, another mythic, and it's a really good one. Love Terror of the Peaks, Ups unsubstantiates pretty solid too. Not bad pack for Core 2021. I think Terror might be one of my, my one of, if not the most favorite card from that set. And of course, another Feline Sovereign. Ooh, Cultivate, there you go, a standard for Commander. Cultivate that land into play. Make sure you don't miss those drops. Another Charming Prince, non-foil this time. Ooh. Making messes. So many packs to open. Hopefully you all love the chaos thing. We love doing it. Grum Gully. And Iron Craig Feet. A good way to ramp in competitive red deck wins. In historic, I actually play that card in a Muxus Goblins deck. It just works really well. Ooh, Showcase Mountain. And a Solemn Simulacrum. Nice, solid rare. More Throne. A few more packs here, Jared. Come on, let's swing another big hit. We already got a couple Mythics, though, which is great. And Once Upon a Time. There you go. Not worth a lot because it was once upon banned on everything. But still a good card. There's always a chance for unbannings. And you can still play it in Commander. Mythos of Brokos. And a foil Fertilid. Not bad. Throne of Eldraine and then another shot at Ugin. Come on, big hit. Turn into a pumpkin out of the Lochmere Serpent. And another foil Scalding Cauldron. All right, Jared, thank you so much for being a patron, hanging in there with us. Another demon and a Stormwing Entity. We have gotten a lot of these. Suppose Core 2021, I think, is the most box-wise that I have opened up in here, so... Makes sense we're seeing some duplication there. Jared, thank you so much. Get these out to you safely. Next up, we've got James. James K, another 18 pack fun drop. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, dig deep. 13, 14, 15, 16. Two more. Going real deep for two. And there they are. And one of them is this horribly taped because I, well, had to buy it off secondary market and they shipped it to me taped. But we got a chase pack, Hour of Devastation for our friend James. And I think that's it for the chase pack. So we'll save the hour for the end. Hopefully something good in there, like an invocation. Something spooky, maybe, like some mummies or some dead gods. Who knows? Mm, hey, Savai Triome. All right, full art Savai. Love how that looks. And a foil Vulpakeet. Come on, James, get some good hits. There we go. And the Dirge Bat. Gotta love the mutating dirge. I do like Ikoria. Thematically loved it. Love the big beasts, the mutation, the Godzillas. All things that are good. Death's Oasis. I don't like this card, though. 
I actually saw somebody had somebody played that against me in a draft and I watched it kill them. And it was sad. And they learned a lesson that day that that card is trash. And ooh, Winota, joiner of forces. We get our first mythic. And it's a devastatingly powerful Boros commander. Gotta love Winota. Ooh, zombie! It's a big old zombie and a showcased showcase island. Followed by Rada, Heart of Keld. Another good commander card. Doesn't necessarily have to be your commander, too. It's just good to be able to play lands off the top of your library. It's kind of like getting that extra draw in a card that doesn't in a color that doesn't get to do it as much. Thornwood Falls, followed by another Demonic Embrace. Again, just a very powerful card. More core 2021. Sapperlene. A forest, we got a forgotten sentinel foil and necromentia for our beautiful rare more Ikoria, more triomes. That's what James says. James is like, Give me more triomes. And ah, the Genesis ultimatum, it's a good ultimatum, not a triome, but still good. Ikoria. I wonder how this one will be remembered. The other thing that's nice about sitting on sealed Ikori is you got those box toppers in them that will always give you a foil Godzilla card. Kahira the Orphan Guard, the non-tribal tribal commander. You can play, what do you can play? What, beasts, cats, elementals, nightmares, dinosaurs, whatever one you want to do. It adds a little bulk to all of them. And the Crystalline Giant. This one I love the alternate art on the Mecha Godzilla and a Keen Sight Mentor foil. All right, Theros Beyond Death, hoping for things like Kroxa. And just, you know, getting gods is always fun. The gods are great. Temple of Plenty. We got plenty of those. We could use something else here. No, Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. And a Foil Furious Rise. I do like this card. Just another really good draw engine for red. As long as you got the beef to make it work. And Storm Herald, followed by a Foil Skola Grove Dancer. And of course, those beautiful Nyx Lands. They just look so good. Storm's Wrath. And a forest. Followed by a silly little advertisement card. Come on. Core 2021. You get a Foil Garrix Uprising. Very good card. Love this one, Commander. And a Thieves Guild Enforcer with Rogue Tribal. That has just gotten silly powerful. A couple packs away from our Hour of Devastation. And the Lava Serpent. And Eerie Ultimatum. I, this is my favorite of the Ultimatums. Just basically get the whole graveyard back. And a Foil Plains. All right, come on. Good card, come on, good card. Mountain and Containment Priest. There was a time when that was relatively expensive. Ooh, another Garrick's Uprising. Why not? Let's put it aside. I don't think it's worth a lot. Promise it's not resealed. It was taped. I didn't want to rip the tape because then it would, you know, make it look like I'm guessing it will rip somewhere else. This was just more of how, how it was shipped. So it was not ever resealed. Just shipped safely. So Hour of Devastation. Mummies for zombies. That was where my mind went. And then, you know, hoping for invocations and stuff like that. All right, if near Deadlands behind it, do we have Mythic? Ooh, no, we got Bantu's Last Reckoning, though. A three mana board wipe is always good in Commander, and a foil overcome. It's like a watered down uh, overrun. All right, James, thank you so much. Hopefully, you enjoy the hits. Thanks for supporting us. Next up, we've got Chris L. all the way from the Northwoods. Here for 11 packs of nonsense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, need one more. 11, Chris, I think I saw two chase packs there. Yup, you get a torment and a mystery booster. That is about, oh no, there's three and a shadows over Innistrad. Well, Chris, you are the lucky boy. What a lucky, lucky boy. Let's see how we do. Starting, what was that, Core 2021? Then we're gonna get an Ugin right off the bat. Swamp, and <laughs> it's a Bane Slayer Angel. It's not an Ugin, but it sure is a Mythic. Not bad. Oh yeah, we gotta save those for the end. That Torment one, man, if we can get a pack fresh Cabal Coffers, that will be exciting. Shatter the Sky, nice little Wrath of God. And Elspeth's Nightmare Foil, that looks beautiful. That's right, you know what? I'm covering up our beautiful mythic. Got to do that right. Come on, Croxa. Croxa, Croxa. And, ooh, Nyx Lotus. Good card. Very useful. And a foil. I did it again. Venomous Herophant. Icoria. Come on, Chris. Something good. Bonders Enclave. Not bad. I'm doing it again. Gotta remember that the mythic is sitting there on the hand. Beast. Dismal Backwater. And a Solemn Simulacrum. Just a nice mana ramp card for your commander deck. Oh boy, I'm excited to kind of three in a row Unique Packs Island. Whoop! And a Heroic Intervention. I forgot this is reprinted. Very, very powerful card. I will always take a Heroic Intervention. Let me move this gigantic stack of bulk so it doesn't fall on top of everything. There we go. On to more Throne. I see a full art in Throne. That's exciting. What's it going to be? It's a Mythic then, right? Oh, the Royal Scions. Full art. That is beautiful. Just looks so good. Come on, Chris. Something something else. We want more. More. Hunted Nightmare. That's not the more. All right. Shadows over Innistrad. Not even surely really what's good here, but boy, is it spooktacular. That's the plan. Look at all those cards. They're so fun. The Foul Orchard, that was uncommon. Cryptolite Ray, Cryptolith Ray. This is actually very good. Turning all of your creatures into mana dorks. Powerful. And you got a Convicted Killer. Nothing there really. Pieces of Puzzle. Nah, nothing else after that. It was not bad though. The Rare, very good. All right. Of course, got a Mystery Booster. Well, we start off with Lingering Souls, which is actually a great card. Demonic Tutor, nope. Mm, Avicen's Pilgrim, all right, solid mana door. Put that aside. Abzan Charm, always good. Crystal Chimes, not very good. Ristic Study, whoa, Chris. What a hit. Reality Scramble for a rare. And a foil of Pilly Pala, very good combo piece, man. Well, closing it out here with a with a torment pack. First, I gotta smell it first. Yup, that's what magic. That smells like the magic I remember. Man, look at these cards. Just to open something old, even if there isn't a ton of great cards in here, it is a lot of fun to open. Coral net. All right, so we got a mind sludge. Well, in the past, all right, next one would have to be a Cabal Coffers if we're going to get one. Mm, compulsion, not Cabal Coffers, and our rare is Radiate. Well, nothing super powerful there, but boy, is that fun to open. Plus, you know, you got a Ristic Study, so we can't be too sad about it. Chris, thanks for supporting us. That was a real fun run. Next up, we got. Hi there. Hi there. We got 10 packs for high there. Oh gosh, I think I just grabbed a giant chunk of core 2021. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's dig deep with these. They're Ikorias. Okay. 
All right, let's see what we can get for our friend Hi there, judge in training. See what we can pop open for him. For Parrot and a Yorion Sky Nomad. Not too shabby. Oh my gosh, it's a crumble pack. Who's that? Friday Night Magic? Yep, it's online now. Song of Creation. Draw and go wild is what that card is really meant to be called. All right, a few shots here at a big old Ugin to ferry some of those powerful great cards. A forest, a Garrick forest, and a temple of Epiphany. No cultivates or anything else there. Griffin, Swamp, and a discontinuity. We get our first mythic for Hi there. It's a discontinuity, not bad. Actually, I just saw a shrine. Let's put the shrine out there and keep it going. This is one of those sets where, honestly, every Planeswalker that came in this, I was a big fan of, too. Colossal Dreadmaw Foil, a card that keeps getting reprinted, and a Maze Mind Tome. Not too bad. Come on, I there. We want something more, something bigger. Another Showcase Land. And a full art solemn simulacrum, sad robot in all of its glory. Not bad. And behind him, another. Is this our, like, it's our fourth or fifth Stormwing entity? Can't get enough of it. It just keeps showing up. Storming out there for a couple mana. Oh, we get another third showcase land. So we got showcase planes and a foil rare behind it of Maze Mind Tome. And. Chandra's Incinerator and it's nice little showcase frame. Not bad. Get adjusted here quick and I'll lower the seat a little bit. There we go. Get a little bit closer to the cards here. Come on, good cards. Jungle Hollow. Oops. And the Twin Blade Assassin's Foil. Followed by nice Azusa Lost but Seeking. Always Seeking. Don't know what she wants to find because she gets all the mana in the world, but so much mana. Forest. And another Chandra's Incinerator. Incinerator, it's fun to say. Incinerator. On this Halloween Plains. And a Grim Tutor. Nicely done. For 10 packs, snagging a couple good mythics happy to see that thank you hi there thanks for all the support all the discord love up next we've got a lot of people paul h paul h says i want so many packs of magic cards i said cool let's get 10 so we're gonna get 10 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that was a clean pull of exactly 10 packs. Not bad, Brett. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can get Paul a great hinge. That's what he wants. He said he needed it. Give it to him. Ah, claimed contender. And ooh, a showcase foil bone crusher giant. Oh, I love that art. That is sweet. And more shots at Ugin. Okay. Tranquil Cove. Oh, a foil Niambi. And a ghostly pilfer. So we've had two packs opened and we've gotten four rares because we've hit a foil rare in each pack. Not too bad. Doing pretty, pretty all right. Third, Blossoming Sands and Joel Rail. Molvoli Recluse. I, did, I know I did terrible things there but I tried my best. And that's what matters. Ikoria, we got a lot of Ikoria. I would love to see more of those full art triumphs. They just look gorgeous. And everybody can use more of them. Skycat Sovereign, blue white flyers guy. Core 2021 again. Saproline, forest and Ooh, a Showcase Chandra. Showcase Chandra Heart of Fire. 
Mythic. So we get our first Mythic in the 10. On to Ikoria, where it's all about the Triomes. Umori the Collector. I tried to build a couple decks with that as a companion when it was first released. It felt all right, but I think it long-term just kind of hit a wall. Ooh, Shark Typhoon. There's a really good one. Love Shark Typhoon. Remember how powerful that thing was when Fires was out? Oh my gosh. You're just slinging giant spells, getting tons of creatures. So much value in that engine. Mythos of Vadrock. More Ikoria couple packs left for our buddy Paul. Sea Dasher Octopus Showcase. That sweet comic book art. And a durable coil bug foil. Last pack, Paul. Thank you so much for supporting Booster Therapy and being a friend. Hopefully we can snag you one more good one. Unpredictable Cyclone. Well, everything is a bit unpredictable, I guess. Thank you so much, Paul. Have a happy Halloween. Next up, we have... Our buddy, Starbright. Six packs for Star. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six. Yep, that is six packs. Looks like a handful of 2021 with a few other things spliced in between. Mountain and an anointed chorister and a see the truth. Rare. Still want to see that Ugin, man, or that full art Ugin. That would be exciting. Thieves Guild Enforcer, another one that's, again, very solid right now. Good in those uh, rogue decks. And, of course, getting to Cultivate is always nice. Love seeing just solid little reprints like that, you know. Cultivate was a couple bucks, you know, slowly creeping as it got further and further away from its last printing. And then there it is, weird. Rugged Highlands and another Thieves Guild Enforcer. We're... Back-to-back -back rogues right now. Maybe we can get a big old titan on the backswing here with Theros. Ah, yay! A god, not a titan, but one of the best gods. Thassa Deep Dwelling. A solid little mythic there for Star. Not too shabby. Construct. A showcase swamp. And another Maze Mine Tome. Can't get enough of those. And Cultivate again. Not bad. Getting some good hits. Last pack for Star. we got Ikoria. Hoping for a nice little Triome. Or anything that is just better than. Hey, Vivian Monsters Advocate. Another Mythic. And a very powerful one when you're playing Creature Feature decks. Star, not too bad. Thank you for all of the love and the support. Get those out to you nice and safe. Next up, we've got Colin B with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I did another perfect pull. I did six packs. All right. Core 2021 to kick it off. Something good for Colin. Well, we start off with a beautiful mountain. And the animal sanctuary for your cats and dogs and squirrels. Not really, but that'd be fun. Come on, Titans. Nightmare Shepherd. I do like this one in Commander. A lot of functional avenues to walk with it in a foil forest that is just beautiful, followed by a swamp. Getting a lot of pretty lands for our friend Colin. Zombie. Oh, there it is. A full art Ugin. That is gorgeous. Colin, that is an amazing hit. Followed by a little Garrick's Uprising again. Whoo, big boy Ugin in its full art glory. And that card is all yours. Nicely done. A foil fetid imp followed by a pursued whale. The Moby Dick of magic cards. 
boy. I don't know if you can really follow that one up. These next couple packs, you just hope for them to be solid enough, but it's hard to beat a full art Ugin. We get Foil Trackdown, followed by a Spark Hunter Masticor, and a Cultivate. Getting that protection from horrid planeswalkers like Ugin, right? I think that thing just all around dodges Ugin because you can't hit it with the Ghost Fire. You can't exile it because it is colorless. Good card. And the acclaimed contender again. Seeing this guy too much. We don't like him. Get him out of here. Colin, thank you so much. Man, what a hit. I love seeing that Ugin. Keegan, up next. Six more packs of fun. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, six is another Ikoria. All right. Triumph, maybe. Cruising right along. We're going to have a bunch of... Pro probably, maybe, if we're lucky halfway through. It's hard to tell. Karuga, the Macro Sage. And we're just cruising through cracking packs. 247 packs, I think. Something like that. Hey, Azusa lost. But seeking, always seeking. Tormod's Crypt is good. Not a bad card for you. Come on, Core 2021. Do it again. That's what we're all looking for. Another big hit. We got an Alpine Houndmaster foil. And a Spore Web Weaver. And a Shrine. Keegan, do you play Shrine decks? Let us know in the comments below. Everybody make a comment. That's the goal here. Comments in the videos helps us get known. We love you for that. A glorious anthem for a foil rare. Followed by an awesome rare of Heroic Intervention. Buy them while well, they're cheap, everybody. Remember, they were over $20 not too long ago. Every green deck, put it in it. All right, Night Jungle Hollow. And another foil rare. We got another Joel Rail. And Double Vision. Somebody cue the Foreigner music. Let's start singing. Ikoria. I feel like we've only seen two triumphs, right? Like, I feel like we're due for more of those. Uh, ah, ah, Kahira the Orphan Guard. We get another non tribal tribal card. Why not? Keegan, thank you so much for supporting us, for all the love. We appreciate it. Next up, we have our friend Kyle. Kyle S. We got a bunch of packs for Kyle here. Six packs. Shake it off a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, and a six. Let's see what we can pull in these six packs. Mm -hmm. Hey, another another triome, full art, all its glory. Rugerin or Raugrin triome. Suffocating fumes foil, not bad. 2021. Still want to say there's a couple chase packs in there. Mountain. So we might see those. A Siege Striker foil and a Showcase Garrix Harbinger. Or as some would say, the Harbinger. It's the Harbinger right there. Goblin Wizard. The Alpine Watchdog, another foil. And Idol of Endurance. Reanimating all of your wonderful little creatures. More Theros, so hopefully more gods and titans. Nope, it's a treacherous blessing. Everything about it just treacherous. Can we get another full art triumph for our friend Kyle? That would be exciting. I would take it. I would enjoy it. Back for more, Yadaro Wandering Monster. I really did think that this, thought that card, thought it was gonna be good, thought people would play it. In red, you just cycle it a few times, you're getting the card draw off of it, you get to play it for free, hopefully quick enough. I thought it was gonna be good. And a Harmonious Archon, we get a little Mythic in the close for our friend Kyle, and a Foil Sage of the Falls. Kyle, thank you so much for being a patron and supporting Booster Therapy. Next up, 
we have Nelstash, and he has six packs of glory. And I'm hoping to pick some good ones here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six packs all in a row. Three, just making sure. Let's see what Theros has to offer us. The pile of pack, cracked packs is getting very large. Tectonic Giant. Of course, we get a beautiful land in every one of those packs. Come on, powerhouse card. Ah, ooh, it is. Eerie Ultimatum. It is a boom card. A bomb, as we like to call it in the magic world. It's a bomb. Fill up your graveyard, make it mighty, and then Eerie Ultimatum. All of those things right back. Planes and a Temple of Mystery. Corey again. Come on, goodies. Something very powerful, that's what we need. From Land Felidar, not the cat beast we were looking for. More Core 2021. Can we get another Ugin or maybe a full art to fairy? That would be fun too. Just give us something that is a hit worth screaming about. Nope, it's Spark Hunter Master Core. It's protected from all the things I just named off. It knew, it knew that. Ikoria. Last pack, Nelstash. Thank you so much for supporting us. And the Everquill Phoenix. The mutating phoenix that gets really hard to kill. Just annoying in a draft. Oh my gosh, it's annoying. Next up, we got Steve from the Mana Burn. Steve is up and he gets a lot of packs. We get 12, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. 12 packs, and I see a pack of Odyssey, another chase pack, and our friend Steve from the Mana Burn, check out his YouTube channel. It's yours, we'll open it last. Odyssey is one of my all-time favorite sets. Excited to see what we pull out of there. And a Shark Typhoon, not bad, a good start. It's a solid, rare, we don't hate it. More Ikoria. To go for those fantastic triumphs. Ooh, the Sea Dasher Octopus in its full art beauty or showcase art. A little comic book style. Genius, brilliant, love the idea. Ooh, a beautiful forest and another demonic embrace. I feel like this is another card we're just seeing a ton of today. Lots of demonic embraces. It's encouraging you to play Tron Commanders that are, have black in their color. And a Spore Weaver for another rare. Throne of Eldraine, we know we want the Questing Beast or the Great Henge or just something that is fun to play. By the way, Questing Beast, like pretty much not played anymore in Standard, isn't that weird? Mirror Maid, it's actually a very good card. Not a ton of cards that do that. And a Red Cap Melee, melee Foil. That copy an artifact or an enchantment. It's a very, very powerful mechanic. Swamp and a ruined halo. I remember when people were excited to see that thing reprinted in Ultimate Masters. And it crashed so hard in price that now that you see it in Core 2021, it's like, eh, yeah, it's fine. It's okay. I mean, it's a good card. It can be good. Kogla, Kogla, King Kong. That's what they should have named him. Kong the Titan Ape. They couldn't get the IP for it, but they found a way to put King Kong into Ikoria. Angel and Rada. Heart of Keld. And a Tormod script. Not bad. And more shrines. More shrines that we can deal with, Mana Burn. More shrines. All right. Time for Kroxa. Time for a Titan. Let's see the Titan. Ooh, Field of the Dead is good, though. Atris, Oracle of Half-Truths. And a beautiful Swamp. Two more packs of Ikoria, and then we get to crack a pack of Odyssey and open something iconic like Mirari or any of the other sweet cards that were in that set. Ooh, Winota, Joiner of Force is another Winota. And a foil 
Lava Claw Serpents. We got a Mythic. We got a Remote Mythic. Probably the most, if, well, maybe not anymore. Akiri might be better because of the card draw. Winota, though, feels like one of the strongest commanders for those colors. Dranith Magistrate for Boros. Dranith Magistrate is an annoying card, too. All right, let's take our time. Enjoy this. Man, it feels like an old school. Smell it again. Yes, it's got the smell. It smells so good. Cartographer, Coffin Purge. Careful study. Look at those old lands. Earth Rift. A Moss Fire Egg. That actually might be good. We'll put that along with it. Just because it's got the old artifact bordering. Sphere of Truth. And our rare is the Avon Shrine. <laughs> oh man, I forgot that people played Avon Tribal back in the day. Steve. Thanks so much for supporting us. Check out The Mana Burn. It's a YouTube channel. It's easy enough to find. Just type in The Mana Burn and you shall find it. Next up, we've got The Judge. Will L. Will gets a few packs of magic cards. He gets six. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the best packs I could possibly pick in that exact second. So let's see if you deserve good or deserve bad. The packs will judge the judge. And bronze hide line. It's not looking like a start that we'd want if we were somebody that you know deserved good things. Next, we have a Liliana standard bearer. It's uh it's going down a dark road for the judge. This is not what he had hoped for, but it is likely what he deserves. And we have the Queen of Ice. How symbolic. The Giant Killer. I do like this card. It did see a tiny bit of play for a minute there. An Attempting Witch Foil. Um, just an adventure deck. There was a few three-color, four-color decks that had... Sometimes it was one of, but there'd be a couple every once in a while. A Rasta of the Endless Web. Endless Web. And a Galia of the Endless Dance. We got a bunch of Endless things in that pack. And, uh, you know, Will, he's ready to go to the Endless Dance. He's kind of a party boy. And he is definitely losing this battle, by the way. Hooded Blight Fang, putting Will at a grand total of about a dollar and three cents worth of cards so far. It is an excellent run that we're on. Everyone in the, in the comments say, thanks, Judge. Thanks, Judge Will. Um, because he basically took the punishment so you wouldn't have to and got a Pursued Whale to really cap that extra two pennies off. Nicely done. But in all honesty, Will, thanks for supporting us. Thanks for being a friend. Will's a good guy. Everybody pay your respects. Next up, since we got that bad luck out of the way, we're on to Patrick R. Patrick R. Getting six packs. Let's mix this up. Things are getting a little barren down there. We're getting towards the end of the, the giant opening. One, two... Three, four, five, six. There's six packs. Patrick R. Let's do it. Let's get another Fiend Artisan. I've actually opened the box before that had two Fiend Artisans in it, and neither was foil. It was, it was welcomed. I enjoyed it. Mythos of Aluna. A mythos a lot of us actually do enjoy. Copying things is just good, and the added benefit of smacking that copy with a fight, not bad. Make sure I don't miss any of those lands. And a Linden Steadfast Queen. So much hate out the gate, and now people that have Heliod decks. That card is just insanely powerful alongside of it. And Extinction Event. Can be a one-sided board wipe. Works best with your decks that are like single commander base. Things like Zergo or Skullbriar, where you're always going to call either odd or even because you basically have one creature. And the rest, you're like, eh, if it dies, it dies. Island. And peer into the abyss for some creepy artwork. All right, time to see that Kroxa. I want a Kroxa. I feel like we haven't gotten to see one for a bit. Kroxa, Kroxa. Nope, it's the first I ruin games. In the beautiful plains. Last pack for Patrick. Thank you, Patrick, for all the love and the support. We appreciate you, buddy. 
Let's see what we can do in this closer. The Folio of Fancies. A great card if you're just super motivated to mill your opponents. Patrick, thank you so much for everything you do for us. We really do appreciate it. Next up, we've got Grim Entertainment. Check them out. And we're going to get six packs for them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. Lots of Core 2021 with a little bit of Ikoria and Theros splashed on them. We're almost getting to the one hour mark. One hour, oh my. Gigantha, being all gigantha -y. Very good card again. If you're playing Jota, I really encourage you to throw Gigantha in there. It just works with that. Bloodfell Caves foil and a pursued whale. We have seen enough of it. I've had enough of the whale. No more. Get that pack out of there. There's a crumble pack. It's a good sign. Good sign, good sign, good sign. Nope. Ephemia the Cacophony. That's how you say that word. Cacophony. All right, maybe we'll get a little fairy or Ugin to make up for it in these uh, Core 2021 packs. Ooh, get a showcase Garrick's Harbinger. And nothing else in the uncommon spot. Halloween, so what is only appropriate is to the right of me right now, there's a spider just kind of hanging out. It's, uh, it's it's quite beautiful. Conspicuous Snoop, very good. What's that? You want to see the spider? Okay. There it is. It's just all in its glory. We'll let him hang out. This is a Halloween treat. What would it be without a wonderful spider just looming down to my stack of bulk? Hang out, spider. Just make sure you eat the other bugs that nobody wants. Sublime Epiphany to close it out for Grim Entertainment. It's a very good card and a couple of shrines to go along with it. Not too shabby. Sublime Epiphany, great, great for Commander. Next up, Ron. Ron needs six packs of magic and we're gonna do just that. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got a half and half. Core 2021 and some Ikoria. Shacklegeist. Fitting for Halloween. Shacklegeist. Shackling all those things up. Basri Ket. Love giving the emblems away. And a fiery emancipation. There we go. Very, very powerful mythic. I can't believe something like that for six mana is one-sided. Feline Sovereign, another one that we've just seemingly seen too many of. Ikoria, now the Triomes and anything else. We've seen Winota, we've seen Fiend Artisan. What other mythics are we missing that are just powerhouses here? Another Fromland Felidar and a Void Beckoner. This is the Space Godzilla Death Corona, if it was in that uh, the Godzilla Showcase. And the ones from the Collector Boosters. The collector's boxes for these still really expensive, too. I think for a couple of reasons. I think one of them is because you get Godzilla. Dranith Magistrate, another good card. And a foil Cub Warden. But the other more important part is that you can actually open Commander 2021, Commander 2020 products. So you can get the Fierce Guardianship and all of those free Commander spells in one of the slots, which is also just crazy powerful. Very good. And an Adantha Triome. Nice way to close it out, Ron. We get a Triome in the finish. Not too bad. Ron, thank you so much for all of the support and all of the love. Next up, we've got our friend, Corey. Hey, Corey. Let's do this. Let's get something very good. One, two, three, four, five, six packs exactly. And you got another one, Innistrad. Classic Innistrad. We'll let it sit up top. This is the one I've been super... And this and Torment were the ones I was looking most forward to opening. So let's see if we can get something insane. Temple of Silence for Corey is the way we start this. So everybody quiet down. Patient. Let's see what we can get on this Halloween day. 
Basri's lieutenant. We're going to stay quiet. We've been told to be silent from the Temple of Silence. If you are curious about the spider, it has completely disappeared at this point, and I can only assume that it is crawling in my eye sockets. Uh, Lutri. Lutri would have been great, you know, if it wasn't Instaban the day before release. Ah, uh, Lutri would have fit in every single deck in Commander that had those colors. Baron, Tolarian Archmage, little bounce mage, not bad. We're all here just to get to that Innistrad pack, though. And we sit in silence as we hopefully open a cross. Is it? Is it? Ah, it's a good card. Thassa's Intervention. Not Kroxa, but very good. All right, Corey, Innistrad. Powerhouse cards all throughout Innistrad. Let's just hope we get it. You know, I got to do the same thing. Yes, it smells amazing. I can't get over it. Ah, uh, let's see. Spare no evil. Pitchburn Devils. Into the Maw of Hell. So descriptive. Creepy dolls are rare. Oh, it's a creepy doll. Do you play Okan and Zinder Split, Corey? Because if you don't, this is a fun one to generate those coin flips. Don't worry, though. We get one more card, right? A flip card of the Screeching Bat. Which turns into the Stalking Vampire. You get a creepy doll on this creepy horror day, Halloween. Corey, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. Nice hit. I love getting to open things like Innistrad. Mark W. Six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. For those who are curious, I do believe there is one more chase pack in the group of packs here. So there is still one at least. There might even be more, but I'm certain of one at least. I, I'm forgetful. Genesis Ultimatum. Another good little rare for Mark. Nice way to start things off. Come on. Oh, I see Shrek. Shrek is a good sign. There he is, right on the top of the pack. We got a little Shrek. Yes, it is a good sign. Mark gets the Great Henge, the most powerful card in Throne of Eldraine, and definitely the most expensive. Actually, it's not the most powerful. We all know who that is. That's Oko. And Oko's been banned for life from, I think, everything but Commander. Zerta the Dawn Waker. Sneaky good card if you're playing anything that is largely activated abilities. It's real good. And, you know, just to throw it out there, I feel confident that a Basalt Monolith with a Zerta is infinite colorless mana. Arch, Arcfiend's Vessel. And, nice, you're doing really well. A Fabled Passage for another rare. This, this is what you want to see in it. Just a small amount of packs. Mark is rolling right now. Free rolling is what we should call it. This is just great. Riddle form foil. Beautiful foil, by the way. In Transmogrify, I saw people doing real shelly things on Historic, trying to cheat out big old Ulamog. It worked. You can get it to work. It's just painfully slow. And a Solemn Simulacrum. Just a nice, solid way to close out six packs. Not bad, Mark. Thank you for all of the support. I hope you enjoy those hits. Those were really good. Next up, we've got Matt. Matt F. Wants a few packs. He's like, Brett, I got an addiction. You need to cure it. So we'll give him six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was a perfect grab of six. Nice little array of standard legal sets. Hopefully some really nice cards. Let's see what we get. Ah, ooh, Luris of the Dream Den. Luris, very good. So powerful. Have you seen the control decks with it? It's insane. Ah, we get a rambunctious mutt foil and a pursued whale. I am done pursuing it. We have seen it three times and I would love to burn them. You know what? That's the next video. I'm going to be up at the cabin in a couple weeks here, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to take every pursued whale I have. There's got to be hundreds. And I'm going to throw them in a fire, record it, upload it. That's all the video is going to be that day. Just me burning pursued whales. Mythos of Snapdax. Not a bad mythos. And of course, the beautiful Seb McKinnon art. Come on. Temple of Malady. On this horrifying day. 
come on. Come on, Kroxa. I feel like I, like, need a Kroxa for life on Halloween. It's just a fitting card. Nadir Kraken. I love the artwork on this card. I don't know what about it just, like, captures me so much, but that that little uh, Kraken head right in, right in the back is just delightful. Uh, Commanding Presence. Have you watched our latest episode? Commanding Presence. Please watch it. Commanding Presence. Whoa, Strider. Nice little sack outlet. Not a bad card for standard. And that was it. Matt. Matt F. Matthew. Thank you so much for being a friend. Next up we got, hey, it's Justin R. Justin gets six more packs of magic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six packs. All have full art possibilities right here, it looks like. I mean, we're, we're running for it. Let's get something beautiful. Soldier. And a primal might actually see in play. It's weird. Yeah, I know that's weird. It's like just walking up and slapping someone in the face. It's weird. Man, is it good. Primal might. Crash through foil. And to fairies, ageless insight. Boy, the stack of bulk is getting mighty. Pirate. Ranger's Guile Foil. It's actually a solid card for green decks and standard. And Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Incredible commander card. Really a big fan of Vito. He's an engine for death. Paul is lonesome. It's just great. Hmm. Song of Creation, a card that feels like it should have, somebody should have found a way to break it, because it's so good. Oh my gosh, we, crashed, we cracked it. We, we passed the one hour mark. I didn't even realize it's been an hour. An hour of wonderful openings. I passed it. Ooh, Ketria Triumph. We get the Temer Triumph, followed by a really nice foil migration path. Not bad. That was a good pack, Justin. Last pack. Let's get another Triumph. I'm good with that. Triumphs are just so good. Three keywords in one card. Oh, you got a, you get a mythic. General Kudro of Dranith. The old man human lord. Not bad. All right, Justin. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Up next, we've got Ryan Butcher. The Butcher. Three packs. And it looks like he's getting... Well, it's not all thrown. Throne, core, and throne. Let's see what we can get for our buddy Butcher. Come on. Good, 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 good. The Gilded Goose. It is good. The Gilded Goose is always good. Don't you say otherwise. Come on. Something spicy in this pack. Nice. Mangara the Diplomat. Impossibly powerful commander card. And a Tormod script. Why not? Oh, I love that card. Just so much it does for you. So much card draw in white. They get everything nowadays. It's great. Wildborn Preserver. Good for flash decks. Do people play flash decks? Ryan, pretty solid, man. Mangara, great for those white decks. You know, they've got Mangara. They've got solid ramp now with some crazy cards. Not quite good enough yet. Mitch P. Three packs for Mitch P. There they are. All core 2021. Let's see what you get, buddy. Wizard. Oh, you get a full art. I'm pretty sure it's Teferi, too. So first, let's start with the foil Chandra's Incinerator. That's amazing. And it is. You got it. You. A full art Teferi Master of Time. That is beautiful. What a hit. That's how you want to start off three packs. With a double rare... One being foil and one being one of the best mythics you can open. Scavenging news, you know, it's just great in every way and played in multiple formats. So far, we're two for two. Really good packs. Last pack from Mitch P. We've got her. that, this, and a containment priest. Good, good, great, fine. It's a good card. It's a hateful card. Mitch, thank you for teaching me how to play magic. Next up, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Chesh. 
Chesh gets three packs of magical goodness. And I got three packs. And he does get a chase pack. It was one I forgot about. Eldritch Moon. And two other packs. We get Ikoria, Core 2021, and then the Haunting Eldritch Moon. See what goodies we can pull from it. I did put a lot of chase packs in this month. Oh, boy. Skycat Sovereign for, you know, your control blue-white flyers deck. Last I checked, uh, I don't think Chesh plays control. Core 2021. I mean, we just want an Ugin just purely for value at this point. And, ooh, we don't get Ugin, but we get a Chromatic Ori. A nice, powerful Commander Mythic. Not too bad at all. But what we're here for is the Eldritch Moon. Oh my gosh, it just peels right off. You know what I'm going to do first, though. Yeah, it smells like old magic. It's the old ink. It smells good. So we can get Eldrazi in this. Can we get Big and Rockhold? That would be exciting. Long Road Home. Ruthless Disposal. Crop Signal. Here it is. What's it going to be? It's a mythic. It's Mind's Dilation. If you ever resolve this in Commander, you basically shut the world out from fun. And we had a we had a Graph Rats that can turn into a giant chittering host, the old meld mechanic that was, you know, shortly lived. Wow. Not bad for three packs of magic cards, Chesh. Thanks for all of the support and high fives. Next up, Steve P. Three packs for the P Man. Let's see if we can get him. We still have not seen Titans. No Kroxa, no Uro. Where are they? Are they right here? No, but we get Thassa's Oracle. It's a win condition, powerful card. We don't hate that. I mean, that's a fine enough way to start. Ikoria. At this point, I feel like we've seen a lot of the good mythics, so I think we want to just move on to the Triumphs again. I could be wrong. Inspired Ultimatum, the Jeskai Ultimatum, and our Theros Pack. Come on, good things, good things in Theros. Good, good. Oh, oh I almost passed over to Gary. And nice, Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Totally forgot about this. It's a great card. It's not bad, Steve. Those are just some solid hits. Thank you for supporting us and all of the love. Got a little, little there we go. I had to reorganize my stack over on the left here. Next up, we got Aaron T with three. We got three packs. Ooh, we got a nice little variety here. We got Core 2021, Throne, and Theros. He's like, Ugin? Can it be an Ugin? Nope, it's the Animal Sanctuary. Have fun with the birds. And that's about it. Yeah, Throne of Eldraine. Come on, Aaron. This is, let's get another Great Henge or a Questing Beast. Ah, that works though. Mystical Sanctuary is good. Gadwick the Wizened. And a foily trail of breadcrumbs. Please let us see a Titan. We have yet to Titan, and it's Halloween. Please help us. Another Gary, not bad. And Ashiox Irisher. A good card if you're one of those people that play those disgusting mill decks. Those are terrifying. Aaron, thank you so much for all of the support. Next up, we're gonna we're gonna pause for a minute. Pause for a cause, that is. Three packs for our buddy Pause. Check his YouTube channel out. Pause has been opening magic for a while now, and boy, does he have fun doing it. He's just a great-hearted man that has a ton of fun. Mantle of the Wolf. I'd imagine Pause doing this right now, so I'll do it for him. Oh, there you go. That's a howl for the wolves. <laughs> Come on, Pause. Something good. Give us a hit. Give us a king hit. Hey, Luna Apex of Wishes. This is easily my favorite of the mythic mutating monstrosities. That thing is so good. It just stands as a card that you can play as a commander and get a lot of value out of. And Elspeth Conquers Death. It's, uh, I hate this card so much. Ooh, and a foil Thrix, the Sudden Storm. That one, I'm finally seeing people play it. And this whole time, I'm like, how do we not play a 4-5 for five, 5 that has flash and flying, has ability that makes things hard to deal with? I just don't understand. 
Next up, Stephen Apple. Three packs for our friend Stephen. Oh, there, oh, there's too many there. We're gonna since there's two Icori, we'll put it. We'll we'll make it a full variety there. Door 2021 to kick it off. And we have another Mingara. Excellent hit. I feel like I'm seeing more Mythics than I should be allowed to see right now. Like, we have cracked a ton of Mythics. It also helps that two of the Chase Packs have had a Mythic in it. Ar I'd argue three do, because the one had a Ristic Study. That's a Mythic in my mind. Temple of Abandon. And the last pack, the Ikoria goodness. Something good for our buddy Stephen L. Come on. It's a full art. What is it going to be? It is Vadrock, Apex of Thunder. You get another mythic, and it's a beautiful showcase art mythic. That looks stunning. Stephen L., thank you so much for being a patron and supporting us. Next up on this Halloween morning is Robert J. with three packs of goodness. We got Theros and Ikoria. Let's get something powerful. Let's open something powerful. Come on. Yes, it's a Titan. There he is. Uro. Titan of nature's wrath. It is about time Robert came and said, I need it. It's Halloween. Give me a dreaded Titan that everyone had to ban because of its power. And they did. And it's yours. Dranith Magistrate, a card that just should be hated and never played. I hate that card. And Ikoria. Let's get another mythic. At this point, I'm just going to keep rooting for like things like Fiend Artisan. It's just good. Or Vivian. Whatever you want to give. And Titan's Nest. Not the card we were looking for. But a Foil Cloud Piercer. Not bad. All right, Robert. Nice hits, buddy. That was a fun one to open. Thank you for the support. Next up is Tim W. Tim gets three packs of magic. And there it is. There it is. It's an almond cat. More mummies. And let's hope we get like a damnation uh, invocation. Gosh, that'd be fun. Temple of Triumph. Nothing else there. These stacks are getting concerning to my right. I do not want to have a topple here, but I see it shaking over and over again. That's terrifying. Opt foil. And Gadric the Crown Scourged. And we get a Sanctum of Sheltering Heights. Oh boy, that is a wiggly wobbly tower. All right, some Amonkhet goodness. Let's see if we can get something powerful, like always. Mm -hmm. The Plague Belcher. That feels fitting for Halloween, if I'm honest. <laughs> and very useful if you play zombies, Tim. That is a good zombie deck card. Tim, thank you so much for all of the support and being a patron. Next up, we have Chris A. Chris, you get three packs to cure that pack, Kraken Addiction. Let's see what we can do for you. Another Animal Sanctuary. How many of those did they print in this world? Good Lord. Theros. Ooh. Oh, Enigmatic Invention, Incarnation, you know what I mean. Bronze Sword and a Mountain. Looks like we got some trash on top of that Ikoria pack. Come on, something powerful. Triome, Triome, Triome. Oops, skipped it. Yeah, Gyruda, Doom of Depths. I'm telling you right now, Chris, if you don't have a Gyruda Commander deck, build one now. It's so much fun. People really love playing against it too, especially when you accidentally mill everybody out. All right, next up is Zach H. Zach gets three packs of magic. And there they are. A couple of core and Ikoria. Lots of core things. Woo, woo, right to the rear. Let's get it. Nice, Zagoth Triome. That is exactly what we want to see. Want to get Triomes when we open those Ikoria packs. And then, of course, Ugin's. Or a full art scavenging ooze. I love this artwork. This is beautiful. Sam Rowan, you killed it. And Arata. You got a double rare pack. Always pleased to see that. 
it. Another Teferi. Full art this time again, and a different art that I can't even tell the difference of. Ooh, a Showcase Forest. And a Volcanic Salvo. Very powerful in a draft. That's about it, though. Zach, thank you so much for being a patron and supporting us. We appreciate it. We're getting down there, folks. Next up is Dan C. Dan gets three packs of Magical Magic cards. It looks like they're all going to be Core 2021 to chase down some of those monster reprints. Alchemist Gift Foil. It's a beautiful looking foil. And a Scooze. Scooze is always so good. I am never sad to see Scavenger News because it is so much playability in so many formats. Next, we get a Sanctum of All. There it is. It's time to build it. Build your shrine deck. It's time. The only miss there is that Sanctum of All can't be your commander. So obviously there are ways to play around that, but he is good. Ruined Halo for our final rare for Dan. Just a nice solid sideboard piece that shuts down things in people's decks. It's me. Dan, thank you so much for all of the support. Next up, we have Jonathan V. Jonathan gets three packs of magic from the free train. And hoping for Ugin's. Another scavenging news. I think I filled this box up with 30 of them. Just kidding, I don't have that power, but it feels like it at this point. Cat. And the pack leader. Of course we get a pack leader. When we see the cat, we know we need to deal with it. Final pack for Jonathan. Thank you so much for your support. Let's hope we get a Fiend Artisan or a Triome. Something good here. Huh? Luris. Nice. Of the Dream Den. I will always take a Luris. That is a good cat to deal with. Good cat nightmare. Next up, we have Anthony C. And he gets three. And looks like they're all core 2021. Come on, Anthony. Something powerful. I see a full art foil, a full art foil solemn simulacrum. That looks gorgeous. Enjoy the sad robot followed by a spark hunter masticore. Not too bad at all. Fantastic hits, Anthony. What's gonna be in here? A wizard, ingenious cur, elemental dog, and a ghostly pilferer. Pilfering all those ghostly things. That rude boy. Last pack, Anthony. Thank you so much for all of the support and your glorious nature for this glorious anthem. Thank you so much. All right. Next up is another friend of ours. Just another person who's been supporting for a little bit now. Always fun. And his name is Hunter. Hunter B gets three. That rhymed. Core set, core set, and Ikoria. Another core run here. See if we can get an Ugin. Nyambi Esteemed Speaker. Come on, Ugin. 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 Terror of the Peaks. One of them. Oh, I almost skipped the land. We got a Garrix Harbinger. And we got a Showcase Island, which was gorgeous. Ikoria. Just anything that is good and useful on this. This is a, Look at this pack just shredded. Just crumbling apart in my hands. There we go. That foil in the back looks, looks pretty. Extinction event foil. What is the back foil? Oh, that's why I was like, why did it look so crystallized? Auspicious Starx foil. So we get a showcase foil in the close. It looks really good. Hunter, thank you so much for all of the support. Next up, we have Jason G. Jason gets three. Let's see what we can do for Jason. Got some Theros and Corset here. Hopefully it cures that pack Kraken addiction. Mm -hmm. Protean Thaumaturge. Not bad. Always love cards that can copy other cards. Who mm -hmm. Field of Rune is good. And Thrix, the Sudden Storm, followed by an island. All right, Core 2021. 
Show us a mythic. Show us power. We need to see it. We get a volcanic geyser foil. And another demonic embrace. We have seen a lot of those. Good thing they are powerful. Jason, thank you so much for supporting us. We appreciate you. Next up is Bien Sona. Bien gets three packs of magic. And here they are. They are all thrown of Eldrain. We're going to have hopefully a happily ever after with Bien. See if we can get uh, some really good hits. Opportunistic Dragon. Another card that shocked me. It didn't get a lot of love, but I understand. Stealing things isn't good. And nice. We get the Circle of Loyalty. We do indeed get a Mythic. Not a super-powered Mythic, but it is in that whole Legendary Artifact cycle, which I was a pretty big fan of. Big artifacts, making tokens, giving extra value, always good. Feasting Troll King! Troll in the dungeon! And an island. Bien, Sona, thank you so much for everything. The support, the love, we appreciate it. Next up is Red Shadow 2099. Has its own comic book, futuristic, it's fun. Looks like we got a nice little variety around here. Throne, Core, and Ikoria. See if we can't get one of those mega hits from Throne of Eldrain. Did not miss it. Any good. Ooh, Escape to the Wilds. Unfortunately, just got banned. I don't understand it. And another foil Bone Crusher Giant. Always taking that. That is just such an excellent card for standard. It is so powerful. It is an adventure. Everything. Everything you could want in a standard rare. It's just great. Ooh, a foil demonic embrace this time. Beautiful foil demonic embrace. And a pack leader and some uprising. Last pack for Red Shadow. Come on, something good. A full art triome. Something that he needs. Give him a card you know he needs. Come on. There it is. Karuga, the Macro Sage. A good companion to help you in your wins. Red Shadow, thank you so much for your support. Next up, we have Captain Fry 9999999. This is just me saying no over and over again. It's Ikoria and some Theros. Not Theros, Throne. You know what I mean. You see the colors of the packs. And a Flither Wisp for our first one. Ooh, with a foil that I'm just, I'm fumbling things for Captain Fry. A foil Blitzleech. Ikoria. Dude, I think we're due for a mythic here, right? Due for a mythic. I feel I feel owed. Huh? Nope, it's it's back-to-back -back slither wisps. I think they're trying to tell you something, Captain Fry, that it's time to play a flash deck and see if it actually works. Flashing in serpents and other cards and draining your opponents down to nothing. Last pack has Ayara, first of Lockthwain, with that new Black Lotus for Commander. I can't remember the name. Jeweled Lotus? Ayara is a first turn play. Turn one play, and you still got mana to spare. Next up, we got Eric. See, Eric. Got a few packs for Eric. Looks like we got some Theros and some Core. I'm still waiting for that Kroxa. Give me the Kroxa. Give me the Titan. The massive Titan who devours all. Ooh, Pelucranos Unchained. We do get a Mythic, and it's a powerful one. It's a good one, and I have seen some standard Golgari decks finally taking use of the absurdity of a card like that that can repeat itself and fight and fight and fight. Oh, the Horn Beetle and a Temple of Enlightenment. It's always nice to be enlightened in another beautiful full art. And a core 2021, I feel like Ugin is on the rise. We've only opened one. I feel like two is right. Nope. It's another temple. A temple of silence. Silence for Eric and his Pelucranos. Eric, thank you so much for all of the support and the love. We appreciate it. Next up, we're getting down there, guys. Getting down there. Garrett R. Three packs for our buddy Garrett. And there they are. One, two, three. It's a core set. We're going to get some goodies in. 
a wizard, and Subira Tulziti Caravaner. A fun one that I have made a commander deck on. I think there is a commanding presence episode you could check out if you wanted to learn more. It was a ton of fun to make on a relatively healthy budget. Fair budget. Edgewall Innkeeper, always good. And the Wicked Wolf that was played over and over again and then never again once Oko was banned. He was very Oko dependent. Mm. <gasps> I saw Full Art Foil. There's something good in here. All right, we get the Crystalline Giant. Not bad, Garrett. Just a solid 3-3 three, three for 3. And we get a Foil Showcase Gem Razor. Look at how beautiful that is. That is a fierce looking card. Not bad, Garrett. That was a solid little three packs. A beautiful looking three packs, if nothing else. Next up, we've got Jeff. Jeff81. Three packs for Jeff, and here they are. They're, they're all Ikoria. Let's see what we can do with three Ikoria. I think this is the first one we've done all three is Ikoria. Something powerful, something powerful. Come on, come on. The Frontline Felidar. That's like the thousandth time we've seen that silly cat. I mean, it goes in Arabo, Arabo. If you play Arabo. The Hunted Nightmare. This is one that I just can't understand why that's not played. A 4-5 Menace for 3 mana. With, honestly, an unconcerning downside in my mind. I don't know. I'm probably wrong, but that thing seems stupid good. Colossification for Jeff, 81. And a foil reptilian reflection. That is a beautiful foil. Jeff, thank you so much for supporting us, for all of the love and the patronage. We appreciate it. We've got two left, boys and girls. Two left. We have Delaney. Delaney gets three packs of magic. Uno, dos, tres. A little variety pack there. Three packs of Magic the Goothering. And a Basri's Acolyte Showcase Foil. Followed by a Brash Taunter, one of my favorite goblins. That thing is wicked. And hey, we we talked about uh, Obosh earlier. Brash Taunter in Obosh is insanity. Insane. Play it. It's fun. You'll have fun. Titan. Is it a Titan? No, it's Hactos the Unscarred. It is... Theros's version of Achilles. Not bad. And our final pack for Delaney is Throne of Brain. Beautiful Throne. Come on, something good. Sir Conrad is good. And Fate of Wishes showcase a very good card. And a foil Toon Veiled Threefolk. Delaney, thank you so much for supporting us. Hopefully, you enjoyed the hits. It's time for the final one on this fantastic Halloween day. We have three more packs, and they're the final three. It is all Ikoria, all the days. Come on, to, let's get something good, Zach. Let's close this out with a bang. Mysterious eggs. Nice. All right, we start off with a Trium. That's exactly what we want. That usually covers about half the cost of the packs. It would be nice to get Triome, Triome, Triome. That would be, that would be most excellent. And Mythos of Brokos, your Sultai uh, Mythos. Last pack for Zach. Zach, thank you so much for all of the love and all of the support. We appreciate you. And behind this archipelago is the Labyrinth Raptor for your Menace Tribal decks. Zach, thank you so much. To all of our patrons, thank you so much. Thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you for a fun month of October and a fun Halloween season. You all have a wonderful rest of your week.